Would you trust an accountant with an email address called mikesmith at gmail.com or mikesmith at smithaccountants.com? If you have a business, it's very important to be professional with your clients and having a custom domain for your business email can either make or break your business. On today's video, I will show you how to buy a custom domain to set up a Microsoft 365 business standard license to use with Exchange Online email services. While this can sound complicated, it's very easy once you follow this guide. As an example, I will be purchasing the domain called ultratechjs.com and purchasing a Microsoft 365 business standard license. We will then log in with our Microsoft 365 license and verify that we own ultratechjs.com. Finally, we will set up Exchange Online with this same domain. In the end, our clients will be able to email us at jessesanchez at ultratechjs.com. This is an example for me, but you will need to apply your own naming convention for your business. Let's get started. On my Microsoft 365 basics guide video, I recommended purchasing Microsoft 365 business standard as it gives you most of the Microsoft applications and a good combination of cloud services such as Exchange Online, which we will be using today. Best of all, I purchased this custom domain using Namecheap.com for only $6. Our Microsoft 365 Business Standard gives us one month for free and afterwards it only costs $12.50 a month. Let's buy this domain. There are many vendors that you can use to purchase a domain such as GoDaddy, Bluehost, etc. Today I'll be using Namecheap.com because it's a very trusted company, it's very affordable and they include free domain privacy so you don't get spammed. First of all, head over to Namecheap.com and type in the name of the domain that you want. I'm doing ultratechjs.com. As you can see, ultratechjs.com is available to purchase and with the coupon, the price goes down to $6. Add it to your card, check out, confirm your order, fill out your account registration, leave all the defaults for who is contact information, add your payment, verify that the domain name is accurate, and click on pay now to process the order. I am now the proud owner of ultratechjs.com and can log in to namecheap.com with the username we created to manage this domain. Keep these usernames saved as we will come back to Namecheap dashboard later on. Head over to your favorite search engine and let's search for Microsoft 365 subscription. Let's click on For Business and click Buy Now on Microsoft 365 Business Standard. For step one, enter your personal email address I will be using ultratechjs at gmail.com. Since I have not registered with Microsoft with this email, I will have to select on Setup Account. For step two, fill out your name, number, and company name. Make sure to enter your cell phone number so you can take advantage of using multi-factor authentication. For step three, I will leave my username as Jesse Sanchez and will change the domain name as ultratechjs. This account will have administrator access to manage your Microsoft 365 licensing. Don't worry about the period on Microsoft.com because by default, all customers have this domain in addition to the custom one we will be adding in a bit. For step four, enter your payment method. For the trial, you can add up to 25 users and select start trial. For step five, make sure to save your new username and also confirm that email Microsoft sends 
to your personal email address. In this example, my username is Jesse Sanchez at ultratechjs.onmicrosoft.com. And we will be using this to log into Microsoft 365. Click on Get Started or log into admin.microsoft.com. I will be using Jesse Sanchez at ultratechjs.onmicrosoft.com, which we created earlier. Click on the top left options icon and click on setup. Click on setup email with custom domain. Click on use a domain you already own. Click on continue. Type in your domain name. For me, it's ultratechjs.com and continue. Now we will verify that we own this domain by adding a text record on our domain dashboard. Open another tab and log in to namecheap.com to manage a domain we created earlier in the video. If you use another service such as GoDaddy, just log in to the corresponding service website that you use. Once inside namecheap.com, click on manage for ultratechjs.com, advanced DNS, add a new text record. For host, do at or leave blank. For text value, copy what Microsoft gives you and paste it under value. For TTL, 3600 seconds equals one hour. So select 60 minutes and click the green check mark to save the changes. Click on verify and notice we get an error because it takes a few minutes for the changes to get picked up. It can take up to a couple of hours but in my experience, it gets updated within 10 minutes or less. I now hit try again after a few minutes and this time it goes through. Now enter the business email you want your customers to reach you at. In this example, I will be using Jesse Sanchez so that the email my clients use is jessesanchez at ultratechjs.com. Click on update and sign out. I had to open a new tab and navigate to admin.microsoft.com and I log in with Jesse Sanchez at ultratechjs.com that we just created. We will be adding three more records in our domain's DNS for email routing so users can connect to mailboxes and one to prevent spam. In the name cheap DNS dashboard, scroll down to mail settings select custom mx for host type do at for value we copy what microsoft gives us for points to address or value for priority we use zero and for ttl we use 60 minutes hit save all changes for the second record we will add a cname record scroll back up and select add new cname record for the host, copy or type in auto discover. For target, copy the value autodiscovery.outlook.com. And for TTL, we use 60 minutes. Hit save changes. For the final record, we add a new text record. For host, type at. For value, copy the SPF value that Microsoft provides. And for TTL, do 60 minutes. Hit save changes. Go back to the Microsoft tab and hit connect email. Once again, we get an error because we have to wait a few more minutes, but after a second try, we hit connect email and we are now successful. To access the new email we just created with our custom domain, navigate to office.com from a new window. Sign in with the username we created, such as Jesse Sanchez at ultratechjs.com. From here, you can install your applications and access your cloud services. For now, click on the Outlook icon and it takes us to outlook.office.com. As a test, I grab my email account from Gmail and send a test email and reply to it both are successful. Congrats, you have configured your custom domain with Microsoft Exchange Online. 
let the business roll in. I hope this video helps you out to get started with buying your custom domain and setting it up to be used with Microsoft 365 Business and connecting it to Exchange Online email. If you found this video useful, give us a like so the video can spread to more people and subscribe to our channel so you can watch all our future videos. It would mean a lot. Until next time, Ultratech out.